1973, when Lou made the record Berlin, Bob Ezrin produced it. It had this huge effect on me, and I just uh, thought someday I was going to make a movie about that story. I actually never realized that he didn't go to Berlin and actually took place in New York. Um, and we, um, I was making a different movie, but we, uh, he said that they wanted to, that Susan Feldman wanted to uh, do this at St. Anne's and he wanted Warehouse and he wanted to do it and he was ready to do it and I thought, well, I'm not ready to make this movie that he wants to make us. I was making another movie called The Diver Bell and the Butterfly. But I felt like I knew that record, or felt, Lou felt like I knew that record as um, well as he did. And so I took all the paintings in my studio and uh, he came over and I said, okay, well, it says that the hotel's got greenish walls and a bathroom in the hall, so why don't these paintings are green? We can just use those paintings as the wall. The, the, he called it the Berlin Wall. So we hung the couch from my studio on the, from the ceiling and Hal and Bob and all the original people, I mean Steve Hunter played on it and uh, it was wild to see Lou play with the whole uh, the whole story of, of Berlin for the first time in 35 years and actually to film that first moment where he looked at everybody and they did that together and there was an encore uh, at the end there was one song that I wanted uh, I mean he sang I mean Anthony sang Candy Says with him and there was one song that uh, was always a favorite of mine that I wanted him to do and he did and I'm not going to sing it but I but I thought that he, that he, uh, we had this special relationship. Um, he loved my father and took my, I wasn't around one time and he loved Havel and Laurie and Lou were going and they were gonna play in front of Havel and Bill Clinton. So my father was from Czechoslovakia and um, when it was Czechoslovakia, and he took my dad with him and my dad wore a tuxedo, and it said, Jack Schnabel, Czech Republic. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't there, but Lou and Lori took him there. And uh, he got to take his picture with Havel and Bill Clinton. Anyway, there's this song that he wrote called The Rock Minuet, and I just think that there was one thing that he did, and he covered an area of language and of experience and of things that I don't think anybody ever touched. And I'd like to read this song to you, because uh, I was with Lou on Friday when he, uh, um, he died on Sunday. We were in the swimming pool and I was holding him in my arms. And he said to me, you know, I was in the, on the beach with my dad and I put my hand in his hand and he smacked me in the face. And he drew the line right there. And I thought that was really a crazy thing for a you know, guy who's 70 years old. I mean, he's thinking about that all these years. And Anyway, uh, I think he loved my father because of the relationship we had, but I would like to read this to you. Um, Paralyzed by hatred and a piss-ugly soul, if he murdered his father, he thought he'd become whole. We're listening at night to an old radio where they danced to the rock minuet. In the gay bars in the back of the bar, he consummated hatred on a cold sawdust floor. While the jukebox played backbeats, he sniffed coke off a jar while they danced to the rock minuet. School was a waste. He was meant for the street, but school was the only way the army could be beat. Two whores sucked his nipples till he came on their feet as they danced to the rock minuet. He dreamt that his father was sunk to his knees, his leather belt tied so tight that it was hard to breathe, and the studs from his jacket were as cold as a breeze as he danced to a rock minuet. He pictured the bedroom where he heard the first cry, his mother on all fours with his father behind, and her yell hurt so much he had wished he'd gone blind 
and he rocked to a rock minuet. In the back of the warehouse were a couple of guys. They had tied someone up and sewn up their eyes. He got so excited he came on his thighs when they danced to the rock minuet. On Avenue B, someone cruised him one night. He took him in an alley and pulled a knife, and he thought of his father as he cut his windpipe and finally danced to the rock minuet. In the curse of the alley, the thrill of the street, on the bitter cold docks where the outlaws all meet, and euphoria drug and euphoria heat, you could dance to the rock minuet. In the thrill of the needle and anonymous sex, you could dance to the rock minuet. So when you dance hard, slow dancing, when you dance hard, slow dancing, when you dance hard, slow dancing, when you dance to the rock minuet.